yo what is good youtube we are back with another video before i get into this video make sure y'all are hitting that like button and hitting that sub button we are on the road to 2000 subscribers we just hit 1k you know what i'm saying so now it's time to start grinding to 2000 you know what i'm saying we got videos coming out every single day streams most days of the weeks but videos for sure every single day i'm trying to drop two videos a day now instead of one so we're pumping out even more content than before but today we are going to be going over where to start in NBA 2K22 my team. I made this video already, but that was a while ago and I feel like there's been enough updates in the game to where it makes it worth it to drop a update on my side on where I think everybody should start, what players to start out with, and just exactly what to do. Obviously it is season seven now, so a lot of new content compared to i think i dropped it maybe season five early season six maybe but i think it was season five even but we're gonna go ahead and get right into it so the first thing you're gonna do is hit that sub button because i do 100k mt giveaways all the time so in order to be entered in that you gotta hit that sub button so hit the sub button and we're gonna get into the next thing so say you're just starting out it's your first day you have zero mt I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. So when you load into 2K, uh, your first time loading into it, and you come over to your Season 7, you're going to get free Zion Williamson for doing absolutely nothing. It is the Level 1 reward. So what you're going to do, you're going to claim this card, obviously open your pack, and the first thing you're going to do is you don't really have to check your agendas, but I'm going to show you exactly what challenges to do. It's in my completed because I already did them. You're going to do these two challenges right here. You're going to score your 75 points and you're going to get your five dunks and one block with Zion Williamson in a game. And the mode you're going to do this in is going to be triple threat offline. So in triple threat offline, take your Zion Williamson and take two gold players. It'll be super easy. You won't have as many wins as me, obviously, because you're just starting out. So the difficulty is on rookie. Uh, you're going to take your Zion Williamson. I can't find mine. But you're going to take your Zion, you're going to take two gold players, you're going to go in there, win your games, get your 75 points, get your five dunks and a rebound so you can get both of those challenges done. That'll earn you 3,500 MT. I think you'll have to play four triple threat games to get that done. So you also get MT, you'll get a couple of these lower tier rewards, which won't really matter, but the tokens are still nice because I'm going to explain to you what to do with those in a little bit. So get your four wins, get your 3,500 XP with Giannis. That 3,500 XP will get you all the way up to level 14 off just doing that. So you're going to get this dynamic ratings pack. You're going to get a Dino Diamond Ronald Murray, and you're going to get a couple other packs, the Ascension Board. You'll get an Amethyst Stacy Ogman uh, two times on the Ascension Board. You'll get a couple more tokens, another dynamic ratings pack um these these badge packs right here can give you diamond shoe boots and diamond shoes out of them so actually no these don't give you shoes diamond shoe boots only but still if you get a good diamond shoe boost you could sell those for a ton uh plus four defensive rebound in these i think sells for like almost 4,000 mt which is pretty good if you think about it. it's a free pack so do that open up your dynamic rating packs you might get lucky and get a pink diamond that you can sell um don't keep dynamic rating cards they're terrible if you're first starting out uh, any dynamic rating cards are not worth keeping so sell those so say after you do all that let's say approximately you'll probably have about nine to ten tokens here's the next thing you're going to do you're going to come to your rewards you're going to come to your token market and you're going to switch over at the top here with your bumpers you're going to switch over to the my team one and you're going to buy these badge packs these bronze badge packs right here you're going to buy as many of these as you possibly can. If you have 10 tokens, you'll be able to buy three. The badges that you're looking for, um, there's actually a lot of them, so it's not really worth me explaining. But say you pull a badge, right? It doesn't really matter what badge. You're going to come to your collection over here, and you're going to scroll all the way down to your badges. Come into here and, sh and go to find an auction house, and you're going to find out if that badge that you pulled is worth selling. For me, I pulled Clutch Shooter, and as you can see, there is one for 850 right now, but the next cheapest one is 5K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this card to my auctions and I'm going to post it for 2,500. And the reason I'm posting it for 2,500, even though there's one at 850, is that the first person that needs this badge is going to come to the auction house and buy the one for 850. The second person that needs this badge, assuming nobody else undercuts me, is going to have to buy my badge. And even if somebody does undercut me, the second person will buy that one. And eventually mine will end up being the cheapest one on the market. You won't keep getting undercut, especially on 
on badges especially on bronze badges you're not going to keep getting undercut people have to buy them because obviously um if you don't know already to add badges you have to start with the bronze so they have to buy them so eventually somebody will buy the badge so say you get lucky like me and you pull one that's worth 2500 there's another 2500 mt and then with everything you get out of your dynamic rating packs you're going to come to your collection and you're gonna come all the way down. You'll probably get gold, but if you get anything better, you could check to see how much they are. But just start with quick selling all your gold. I have a ton of them. I need to get to quick selling all these, but quick sell all your gold, get rid of them, especially if you're starting this late in the game. Collector level is not gonna matter for you. It's not gonna come into play. Quick sell all your gold, all your emeralds, all your uh, sapphires, all your rubies, get rid of all those. Your amethyst, I would uh, check to see, just go to find an auction house, see how much they are. If they're like a thousand MT, then just quick sell them for 800. And let's say after all that, you have 10,000 MT. Now remember, you already have your rewards from over here, which is Zion. You have your pink diamond, or you have um, your diamond Ronald Murray, and you also have your Amethyst Stacy Augment. So that's already three good players that you really could go to triple their offline with and just play, because you'll get like 300 MT, I think, from each game. And that does add up pretty quick. But say you want to go to maybe the triple threat online scene or you want to go play clutch time. I'm going to give you a couple options that are super cheap and these cards will play amazing for you. The first one is a card that just came out this weekend. It is going to be Isaac Koro. Uh, this is a card that I think is super overlooked and you can get them for really, I think, 2000 MT pretty much. There's a ton of them being thrown up. You pull them a ton in these new packs. He actually did go up a little bit but he won't go up any more than he already did so even if you grab this card for 3000 mt that's only a third of what you should have you should have at least 10k after getting to level 13 so buy this card for 2800 or whichever the cheapest one is buy it for that and then the next card you're gonna buy is going to be um the same card from that set i can't remember his name for whatever reason but i will figure it out right now in the fearless set uh, you're going to want to buy Norman Powell, and you're also going to want to buy Chris Boucher. That's the other one. Chris Boucher is an absolute beast. This card is super well-rounded. He can do pretty much everything you need him to do. His three-point shot is good. His dunking is good. His rebounding is good. His speed is great. This is another card that I kind of feel like if you're just starting out is a must-have. And then more Norman Powell is also a great card that I would definitely pick up. He's a shooting guard slash point guard. I would definitely play him at the point guard. A great card to have and then another one that i would suggest getting on your team um after you get those i would buy those three and then i would work your way up to one of the opals in that same set which would probably be i would say bruce bowen he's got an amazing jump shot he plays great defense as you would expect from bruce uh bruce bowen he does only have a 91 offensive overall but since he's gonna play the two or the three for your team i feel like that's fine because like i said his jump shot is great he can shoot the ball you don't really have to dribble with the back six seven he's the perfect shooting guard especially if I, if you buy norman powell i'm pretty confident in using him at the point guard so if you if you were to do all that right there your lineup would look like norman powell bruce bowen um i think zion is a power forward center if i'm not mistaken so yeah zion's gonna play power forward so it'd be bruce bowen or uh norman powell bruce bowen isaac okoro um zion williamson and then chris boucher so that's gonna be your starting five great starting five right there so you can instantly go in the clutch time and start playing in the offensive scene and then that's when you're gonna just start start wanting to grind more of these uh challenges just go look through here find challenges you can grind i have another video on how to hit level 40 quick if you're just starting out in the game you don't don't have a lot of mt it's gonna be pretty tough for you you're gonna have to pretty much take advantage of every free card you can which pretty much is meaning all these cards right here uh which are going to be the ones you're going to earn from leveling up so you can already like i said if you get level 13 you can already start with augment and uh ronald murray so you can start with both of those get some extra xp and uh, some of these right here you'll get from just simply playing the game like seven threes in a triple threat game you'll get that while you're grinding your points out with Giannis or um not with Giannis, with zion so really i mean you could be after doing those zion challenges you could be even past level 13 you could or 14 you could be 15 or 16 after doing that because there's a lot of challenges that you'll just get and then the next thing you're gonna do is pretty much just try to try to snipe a couple cards 
um watch a couple budget videos i have plenty of them on my channel i have another one coming out soon of the top cards under a certain price and just really just try to find the cards that you want to play with um if you play clutch time working your way up this board like i said this is why i suggest playing clutch time because all you have to do is win 10 games and you get a pink diamond danny green and i feel like clutch time is probably the easiest online mode out of all of them maybe triple threat online could be the easiest online mode I've only played one game this season, but Triple Threat Online is pretty easy too. You don't have to bring amazing cards. Yes, you'll get matched up against crazy teams. You just kind of have to deal with it. But more times than not, you'll be able to beat the player you're playing against as long as you have an average talent level on this mode. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Just, just start there. Start with getting your Zion. Start with building out that starting five and then just play modes to earn the rest of your MT, then to fill out your bench. That's pretty much the best way to do it. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to put them in the comment section below. I'll guaranteed get back to those. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the sub button, and I'm out.